So this video is about how to mute unwanted string noise. How do you mute the strings that are not played? So unwanted string noise is especially for newer players. However, I want to say this right away. Let them be noisy. While you are figuring out your picking hand, syncing with your fret hand, trying to play with all the different techniques, you absolutely will not have space for your mental being to overthink all this straight away. So give it some time and slowly put some effort into muting of the string either with your fretting or picking hand and figure out what suits or is best for you while you're learning the instrument. However, I will give you some tips I used to do or what I am doing to mute the other one that string noise while I am playing. First of all, I want to say that I didn't really think too much about the techniques, what I should do muting strings. I basically just kept playing and practicing and because the unwanted string noise was so annoying that I just figured it out with my fingers how to do that. I think I can still improve with that, but it's an ongoing process as the instrument is always. Before we move on, I want to say that if you put a lot of gain, uh, the more gain you put, the more noisy strings will be. So what I want you to do is that it's okay to put a lot of gain it's making playing for you easier but when you are improving and you're hitting the notes better your breaks are hand is working better you're, you're playing smoother put the gain away slowly gain away to the level of that there's a great sound coming in where the sound of the string noise isn't coming out that much but you're playing still sounds great for this video purpose i put more gain that i'm normally playing just to uh, demonstrate okay let's move on so there are the string noise coming in Okay, it will be worse. So when I'm playing a power chord, for example, I'm pressing with my first finger, as you can see, light touch here, so the strings below are muted. The same thing maybe with the pinky finger. So basically playing with a power chord, the strings below are muted. This is a pretty easy thing to learn pretty quickly. I used to play in the past like this. No wonder my strings were never moved because I played like this. This is a good thing to do. Let's say you're playing a riff. So I'm gonna play the Pursuit of Vikings again because it's awesome. If you notice it, that I have my fingers all the time here muting the strings while I'm playing to six string and when I'm pr pressing the notes here I still try to keep unwanted noise gone by pressing with my fingers like below here and keeping also the six string muted with my picking hand so let's play the same part again when I'm not muting the strings at all keeping more fingers up more noisy it's not bad but it's still more noisy so muting like this is pretty good thing to learn okay let's move on you can also mute with your palm here let's say that if you are for example doing some hammer pull-ons pull-offs you can't really mute the strings up here without your palm so look at my palm here while i'm playing I'm, I'm muting with my palm here, but let's play if my palm is like not over the strings. It's getting really noisy, so it really depends what you're playing, if you can mute better with your fingers or with your palm. You can also use your thumb, but I wouldn't recommend that, at least if you're a newer player. It's, it's something next level, so forget about your thumb for now, okay? Let's give an example of Summer Nomar the Way of the Vikings, the beginning of the song, like intro. Where there's like one note at a time. This is a place where the other strings make it noise if you're not muting them. So when you're playing like down here, it's really important to mute up here because they will get noisy. As you can hear, a technique that when I'm tapping, what I'm doing to uh, mute to unwanted string noise. So let's play first of all that I'm not muting anything. Okay. 
effect closing. Now I'm using the unwanted strings. What I'm doing here is I'm pressing with my thumb to mute these strings to 6th and 5th string and then I'm using basically fingers that's pressing at fret is muting the string below and then I'm using my first finger to mute the first two strings I might use my pinky finger also here so almost every finger is doing something to mute the unwanted string noise as I uh, showed you with a little bit different things here how you can mute unwanted string noise with my correct knowledge okay so this video is about how you can mute the unwanted string noise and these were just an examples what came in my mind just remember to practice and slowly put more time and effort into muting strings it's okay not to mute your strings until you possibly have the skills to do and achieve that and at least I want to say that guitars and arms matter as I mentioned with the game before I simply have four different guitars and all of them have a little bit different string noise also string height matters when you're still learning a lot with the instrument I recommend you to use noise gate to reduce the string noise when you get better with the playing reduce the noise gate also reduce the gain this is the ultimate goal to have when you're improving at the beginning a bit more gain a bit more noise get then start reducing them to the level things get smoother and your guitar will sound better you learn how to mute the strings and you learn how to play with just enough gain to get your guitar sing like a beautiful instrument <laughs> see you in the next video